not have this shape. This shear can only cut straight, straight lines. Um, so anyway, this this um, round line I will have to do by by hand. Okay, now, now the feet are all a little bit oversized, just slightly, and they have to be fit to the body. And that happens um, at the same time I'm also marking uh, the, uh, the width of the, uh, the mouth that will be scribed in from the back. I'm going to do that first with this jig that's, that's made set at any position here, these lines are a quarter of the circumference at any given point here. And that's what most pipes are made with, a uh, quarter uh, width of the mouth, I mean quarter width of the circumference. I'm going to mark these lines. Uh, now we are going to fit the, um, the, the feet to the body. They, they are a bit oversized and they need to uh, be the same size as the body. And at the same time I'm also marking, uh, transferring the marks for the mouth width also onto the foot. Make a mark where I'm going to cut it off before I roll them up. Now I'm ready to trim the pipe feet at the shear. Next step is to scribe these lines deeper and also longer to to give the uh, the mouth a shape when it's when the pipe is done, and also same thing on the foot. So I'm going to get that tool. Okay, I'm going to scribe these mouths. will be a half circle and it's just scribed enough uh, so the shape the line will be seen from the outside once it's formed and round. On the body so it's just going to make straight straight lines about one and a half widths of the uh, mouth width approximately. 